guys, it's Elizabeth from Elizabeth Books, and I'm here to do the Adams Family book tag. I'm super excited because I'm in the Halloween spirit. I am so excited for Halloween. I don't even know why. Like, I am not five anymore. I'm not even like, you know, I'm like 23, 23 years old. Why am I excited for Halloween? Because it's going to be great. And I'm wearing my spoopy little, little ghost scarf for the, you know, getting the season. And yeah, I'm excited to go through these questions. Number one is Matricia Adams, The Mother and a Witch. What is your favorite witch book? So I really haven't read too many witch books that I can think of. So I'm just going to go with Harry Potter and just the Harry Potter series in general because there are witches in it. Yeah. And they are a lot of my favorite characters in life in like any kind of books. So, so I'm going to have to go with Harry Potter for that one. Two is Gomez. Gomez Adams is a loving father. Who is your favorite fictional dad? For that one, I'm going to go with The Dad from Finding Audrey by Sophie Gonzella. The mom and dad in this book are so great. They are the greatest, like, parents I've ever read about. They're so funny. They're really supportive to their daughter. And, like, I feel like in a lot of books, parents are either, like, horrible to their children, like, they don't like their parents, or their parents act like children and the main characters always have to be their parent. And I felt like in this book, the parents were, were like silly, they were like really silly and stuff, but they still like were the parents and did their job and took care of their children and yeah, I loved them and they were funny and cute and so great. Number three is Uncle Fester Adams can generate electricity. What book makes you light up so much that you can't stop yourself talking about it? And I'm gonna have to go with Full Tilt by Neil Shusterman. If you guys know me, you know this is like one of my absolute favorite books. This is all I really ever talk about. I actually have like a review up on it, which I mean, I'm not very good at reviews, so it wasn't that good. But still, I have a review up of it because that's how much I want to talk about it. And I always want to pick it for everything in some kind of way. And I'd be like, no, talk about other books. But I can't help it because I love it and it's so good. Four is Wednesday Adams is obsessed with death. If you could have killed off a character in any book, who would it have been? Um, I'm going to have to go with... I'm with Peter from Divergent. I hated him so much. He was so horrible and I hated him and and he just made the story like so frustrating and horrible and and if he had been gone these books wouldn't have had so much drama that like he added so much unnecessary drama to the series and I hated him and ha. Ah. Five is Pugsley Adams has a vicious nature and plays nasty pranks on everyone. Who is your favorite villain? I'm gonna have to go with Warner from Shatter Me series, which I mean, he was probably like a, a lot of people's favorite because he's a beautiful, he's beautiful but awful at the same time. Like, you hate him, but you love him. And I kind of want to reread the series because I wasn't the hugest fan of it. But maybe rereading it, I'd like it better. You never know, maybe. Six is Glitch is based on Frankenstein and a zombie. What is your favorite adaptation of a story? I'm gonna go with Cruel Beauty by Rosamund Hodge. It is a Beauty and the Beast like adaptation retelling, and I think it's super good. Like I am so excited to reread it soon because I loved it so much, and I thought it was like a really great retelling or adaptation. So I'm gonna go with this one. Seven is Grandma is an old classic witch. What is your favorite old classic horror book? And I don't really have an answer for this one because I don't read like horror books or anything like that and I haven't read really any classics. The only thing I can really go with is The Picture of Dorian Gray, which isn't really a horror book, but it has some kind of creepy horror elements to it and it is a classic, right? Yeah. And so I'm going to go with that one. That one's really good. It's then show us some of your horror books, which I don't really have horror books, as I said again, and I don't even have the picture of Dorian Gray with me, my friend's borrowing it. But I have a video of some creepy books I like, so I'll link that below if you guys want to see that video. Mine is, what are you going as for Halloween this year? And I'm going to be Papyrus from the game Undertale. Um, I am obsessed with that game. 
And finally, 10 is what are your favorite Halloween films? So my favorite Halloween movies are probably ones that aren't scary at all. Like, I love Hocus Pocus, Halloween Town, like, 1 and 2. Um, ooh, I always liked that Disney Channel one that was, like, the Phantom of the Megaplex. That one was great. Um, Harry Potter. That plays on the, like, 31 days of Halloween on ABC Family, so Harry Potter counts. And... Zombie Land, that one's great. It's not scary, but you know, zombies, so Halloween. And yeah, so that's that's about it. Ones that aren't scary. That's what I like. So yeah guys, that was the Adams Family book tag. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye guys.